Atali Blink. Atali is both colors of Othari, <laughs> so we'd be cutting those colors pretty well. There is a Flicker Wisp here. I feel like Flicker Wisp wheels. I think you take Intrepid Adversary over it. I'll feel really silly if it does not wheel, but I do think this cuts the, the, the color combo we want better. So I'm going to do that. Plus, the Atali needs to uh, flip into good stuff, right? Touch the Spirit Realm is a blink. Grim Monolith might help you cast the Atali. This pack only has one white card. People undervalue it in Lightning Tutor, so I don't, I don't think most people would take E-Tutor over Touch. There are a couple white duels. Grim Monolith is just so much more castable. Or, I'm sorry, Atali is just so much more castable if you have a Grim Monolith to ramp into it. But passing back-to-back -back blink cards feels wrong for the Stip. Touch is solid. Holy jeebus. Draw, ramp, counters, removal. I'm going to take the Fury, but... Wow. One cool thing about Fury is it's a really good one to blink, too, right? We can evoke the Fury and then blink it with touch and just, like, murder a whole board. I'm going to take the Oust out of this pack. We're trying to slow people down. The best thing about Hero Quest is the broadsword. Oh, that old, uh, that old review. Yeah, it's so much fun. I guess I'm taking broadside here, right? The the, the basalt monolith appeals to me too. Oh no, no blinkables. This one's not even good to blink. It blinks our stuff. Exile our Atali and then sack to get it back. Okay, I, I buy that. I buy that. Oh, please do, Bremner. Perhaps the best review slash unboxing video ever recorded. The Bard. I've actually watched a lot of his stuff after that. Hmm. I think I'm just taking bursts here. I'm not, like, really trying to murder my opponents. I want to take good cards so I can win the game, but I'm not trying to just, like, just murder them. I want to get up to Atali. I want to get that Atali value. So removal's good. Dragon could be sweet. I'm just going to take the Vantage, though. Worm would be cool if we ended up like a sneak attack type deck. Yeah, I've got some nostalgia for Hero Quest because it was one of the first like D and D style board games I ever played. There was a older guy at the shop. They brought it in and like ran a session for a bunch of us punk kids. And, and he was, like, you could tell that he was, like, getting sick of dealing with us, and he was so happy when a bunch of, when a bunch of Minotaurs came in and murdered everybody. No, the Flicker Wisp! Okay, I was wrong. I do think this card's better than Flicker Wisp, but we have missed a blink. Maybe someone with Solitude wanted a real ban. Sacred Frowner came back. That's good. E-Tutor fetches the, the touch. So you could tutor a blink for me. I'm going to grab the Sacred Foundry. I have some good mana. Mana Tithe is sweet, but it's not a very good... Um, it's not a very good Cascade hit, right? I might just grab another Pyrokinesis or City of Traders. Should that Tundra tempt me? They re-released it, Greybeard. With a bunch of new expansions and stuff. That's what uh, that's what my copy is. Yeah, cloning Atali could be good. Maybe, maybe I should have grabbed the Tundra because of Phantasmal Image and stuff. I mean, Death Creed is really good, but it does like just murder people. Is the issue? Nice, Captain Wacky. <laughs> I kind of like Oliphant as like fixing. That's also not bad to hit. Maybe I'm supposed to be grabbing Emrakul. Emrakul is like the best Cascade hit. We passed both Monoliths that would have worked well with the Zerda. Damn it, Tom. Recruiter's a good one to blink. Hey, Ephemerate. 
Phew. Now I feel like a proper blink deck, you know? I was feeling bad after missing out on that Flicker Wisp. I was feeling, feeling silly. Like I'd filled the stip or something. But now we have two quality blinks. I feel a lot better. And here's a Metamorph that can copy it. Now we just need ourselves a uh, an Atali, huh? And maybe a way to get it into play. Some Mana Rocks would be good. Some Talismans. No idea, Taylor Endbeam. But good luck. Yeah, the Bodyguard can slow blink it. Metamorph can clone it. Touch can blink it. Ephemerate can blink it twice. There's some blinkies here, and there's some blinkies. You don't think this is going to be good enough to trophy? Oh, we've got a ton of good cards here. I'm not sure about all that. People trying to, like, estimate a deck's uh, chance to trophy, I feel, are... Um, <laughs> miss him. Just, like, haven't watched enough Vintage Cube, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's not that predictable of a format. Hmm, I suppose, huh? Maybe wins is better. I guess Inspector is something worth blinking. Not the greatest Cascade hit, but it's another thing to ephemerate and stuff. Hey, Resto. Cool. Maybe Wrath for the Cyborg. Or maybe we want Survive Triumph just as another duel. Let's take the Wrath. Spellseeker is really good with Ephemerate, but adding blue would be a bit tough on the mana. Hmm. Could have another sweeper there. Fire Confluence is really good. I'm going to take the canyon over it, though, I think. Well, maybe not. We already have Ancient Tomb. We already have some pain in the mana base. You need to look these these guys up. I like this band a lot. Behold the Monolith. This was uh, one of my favorite albums of 2022. I would blast a lot uh, when I got done streaming. I just wanted to relax. Good music to do the dishes to. <laughs> Caleb DMTG approved. There's no Atali here, but there's a Mana Vault, which, helps, which might help me cast an Atali. And there's an Atraxa that would play well if we did end up with Sneak Attack. It would also be a sick Itali Cascade. I think I'm going to take the Mana Vault. Not really anything for Stoneforge Mystic here. I also don't like Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond's good for like ramping in the early game. It's not good for like ramping you into a tall aim. Maybe I'll throw a Shield Breaker in the sideboard. Stoneforge Mystic could be a good one to blink if we had multiple pieces of equipment, but currently we have none. Huh. I guess. Still missing that Atali. Another Mana Rock, though. Hmm. I don't see any Atali type cards here. Lurus can rebuy Bitter Union. It's kind of cute. Mother of Runes, Elegant Parlor. Pact just doesn't really scream blinky to me, does it? Maybe I'm supposed to take the Talisman. How are we doing on playables? We're doing really good on playables. Well, we got another really good card to blink. It's not an Atali, but it is another really good card to blink, at least. Like, Solitude and Fury are two of the best ones, right? The greatest blinky of them all. Well, farts. I 
The solitude made the recruiter a lot better too. Kiki Resto is in infinite in there. Kind of cute. Clone there, Atali. Hey, now you're thinking. Container Priest is good with Parallax Wave, but it's pretty bad with all my other blinks, right? My Ephemerate and Symbol Butts. I might board in the Containment Priest against uh, Reanimator decks, though, of course. Yeah, I think we only missed, like, one Blink card. And it was, like, that second pick, Flicker Wisp. Or maybe it was first pick, I don't know. Hmm. Adversary could be cute with Blink. Like, Blink at mid-combat and pump, pump a bunch. I guess without a Tali to ramp into, these ramp picks aren't necessary. And maybe I'll leave Mana Vault in to just, like, play a fast one, you know? What do the different piles mean? Uh, the bottom row here is the deck that I'm building. This pile over here is the land that I'm going to add, which I'm currently out because right now it's got my, my deck count right here. So I'm trying to trim the deck down and get the count correct, which should be like 23 here. And then I'll bring the lands back in. That's what the different piles mean. I have it stretched out this way so I can have a good idea of my curve and such. I think I'm cutting Bitter Reunion. Well, actually, my red count for, for Pyrokinesis and Fury might be a bit low. What if I cut the Pyrokinesis and we can board it in? And then I'll cut ending here and leave Austin. And this is just a deck. I could also cut Usher, get one more red card in, balance it out a little bit better. Play like Death Greeters or something. Or maybe next Shieldbreaker. I think that's fine. Shieldbreaker over Usher. And then the red white balance looks a little bit more well balanced. A playable? How high do I take Metamorph? Uh, not that high. Doesn't always make the cut better in some decks than others. A colorless card that you can always play and will always play is obviously pretty high, like Umazawa's. Or the main vault that's in here. Come on, give me something to oust. Hell yeah, Dwapson. You're hoping your cubes get into the main event. What are your uh, what are your cubes? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I guess that's something to oust. Now they're going to redraw consider in a couple turns. What are the odds of this lands? I mean, last turn they tapped out for code. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, like worst case scenario, hum. Well, this is a lot of fucking lands. A. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I mean, on 17 lands, maybe I should go to 16. Well, I want Model Red decks kept on cutting lands, going lower and lower. Hey, Des Moines 91, these are the sob things are sharing the prime there. Magic can just be rough. It can, you know, every once in a minute. But my opponent's only got six cards there, so I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure none of them are any good. They're not Natali colors, I can cut Metamorph. And I want Usher, I don't know if I want Giver. Just like more early game threats. They did show us a target for Shieldbreaker. I'm gonna cut wins. I'm also going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in like a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more gas dense post board. I kind of want to play a different album. Also kind of doomy. This ain't so close to being reasonable, huh? Well, the turn one smuggler's captain. You can crew with the pitch cast fury. What could go wrong? In this sort of matchup, it'd be cool if we had Palace Chiller to grab with Recruiter the Guard. You have so much faith in this deck. Your faith is not misplaced. I might hold up Ephemerate here. I might just go like Death Greeter's Champion, put the counter on the Recruiter, use Death Greeter to activate Copter. All with Ephemerate up. That's what I was thinking, Taboo, yeah. We're already losing life to the Ancient Tomb, and there's not a lot of double white spells in the deck, so I, th I thought I was fine to loot away the Foundry. I might have been wrong. There, is some, there are some double whites, right? Parallax Wave and Solitude. We did cut the bodyguard, so it is just those two. Infinite combo. You uh, we can't get, grab Resto with uh, with Recruiter. Only Kiki Jiki. Is putting a counter on the copter a bad idea? I don't think so, but I like the idea of holding up Ephemerate. I think this is a better way of doing that. It is nice to spread out your threats, huh? Got the impression that they didn't have a removal spell there, so. Chrome Mox, eh? Okay. Quick, crude the smuggler's copter. They got Echo in the graveyard. We're just crewing the copter and getting in for four, and they're at four, so we win! Fury actually doesn't seem very good against them. Which is weird, because Fury's, like, never bad. But it might actually be bad. 
I assume they have something for it. Something to kill in their deck. Not nearly as good of a curve as our last. But better than our first. Yeah, just gonna get the shield breaker down. The turn one chrome yeah, that would have been great. I kinda hate this. We could wait and, and hold up Ephemerate in case they have a removal spell, but I also want to show down next turn. So we'll see. Uh, deal. Rest on a bunch of fucking lands. <laughs> well, at least I'm not drawing that shit, huh? I have not glass house life. Yeah, stoner doom is usually what it's referred to, mouse aim. Or sometimes just doom. It plays poorly into a sweeper, but I think I like pitch cast fury and then resto blanket. The other lines just play fury and lose the resto. I think that's worse. Yeah, Electric Wizard was my introduction to Doom Metal. Their album, uh, Dope Throne, is perhaps the best known um, Doom track. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Doom album. It's good. -in. I guess I'm just casting touch here. I was very tempted to play Athari and then like ephemerate it just to get two one one counters on the Fury. Dope Smoker? Sure, yeah. Those might be like the literally the two most iconic. The Firebolt has resolved. <laughs> God, that match was fucked up. least away friend this hand has lands to spare no we did both quintoxic it was back-to-back -back games we had removal spells and they had force for it to untap and get me i think one of them was a fire blast the second game This is kind of weird, because the Fiery might just be able to clear Fintorn Elves later anyway. It's possible I should be bittering here. Feels good to slow them down, though.
float mana, do nothing with the mana. Cool. Do we just show down next turn? I kind of dig that. Magic players do love floating mana and taking game actions. I people like I've had people ask me why I'm not floating mana before. <laughs> it was super irrelevant. Hell yeah. Interesting uh, Grim Monolith tap there. They almost have plans for the other colored mana this turn. Oh yeah, Arahibs. You digging the yob? Let's show down here. One of my very favorites. Seen them live uh, a few times now. We tap slightly different. I mean, we didn't know we were going to get two planes. Then we could have um, killed the Grim Monolith here with a Shield Breaker, but I mean, it's tapped. Like, what are the odds that it's going to matter this game? Pretty much zero, I think. <sighs> he said self jinxingly. I should be able to loot away cards from Showdown. That's what I think. Next turn, it kicked Burst Lightning, could deal 5 damage with the Showdown 1 1 counter. Opponent kind of just needs like more removal here. I don't think Once Upon a Time is going to do it. Ah, uh, Bummer Pugo. I hope the job's treating you okay, though. You want to know what Uro tastes like? I bet Uro tastes goddamn delicious. I bet Uro tastes like fresh sushi. Well, that's bad for me. Shouldn't all sushi be fresh? It should be, yeah. <laughs> In an ideal world. Now I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried about that Arom. Gas station sushi? I had some really good gas station sushi. When I was in um, Hawaii. Oh, I guess, hum. Yeah, sushi spawn. The 7-Eleven's there. Sell it. We don't even have the mana to burst lightning. Not a great spot. Because now they get their Uro back and they go up to fucking seven life. Er, well, I guess they have to lose one from the fiery. So they'll be at six life. So then a top deck creature could crew copter. Oh, you were saying that Uro tastes more like, like pokey instead of sushi. I could see that. I misunderstood. I misunderstood the comment. <laughs> Very common for me. Well, they got another blue source. They're gonna—they are gonna go up to seven. Well, they have solitude that can exile in our own, and we have our own winds that can exile it. I guess a creature to crew the copter here would also put a one-one counter on the the resto. Perfect. Shouldn't have played that land.
That's a good sign. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Nerdy Steve, I'm starting to get hungry too. How are you doing, by the way? Good, I hope. Mmm. Yeah, that snack. I had a PB and J right before I went live, but I usually eat dinner around seven. Fairly fantastic. Love to hear it. How'd the gruel deck do? I think we trophied with the gruel deck. Didn't that happen? I feel like that happened. Is this another mashup for us, shame? Over like oust or something? It feels like we can get a little bit more aggressive, huh? Yeah, right, call me Clint. Classic for a reason. <laughs> hey. And they've been their wasteland. This hand this hand could not have handled the wasteland very well. Not like our last drum. Gruel splashing recurring nightmare. Uh, we were splashing mind twist. We boarded in recurring nightmare uh, in that one match though, and did very well. <laughs> That's hilarious, Skittles. Oh, fun, Colton. Uh, I'm going to the Milwaukee Metal Fest, but I'm only going to be there on the Power Metal Day, which is the first day, the Friday or Saturday or whatever it is. I think it's Saturday, or no, it's Friday. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm pretty stoked about it. Should be a good time. I want to metamorph the copter. I must have two copters here. Ooh. Yeah, you too, Colton. I think uh, Eternal Champions, the band I'm most excited to see. Wanted to see them for a bit. Crucible Wasteland. Rude. If I crucible, if I copy the usher, then I get to attack with two things here, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure the crucible is going to survive. That's why I didn't loot away the sacred foundry there. How was the recovery from day drinking? Not bad, not bad, Dimsitoid. When you don't drink much for a while, then when you go hard, your body recovers pretty easy. Oh, I'm only 35, handsome. <laughs> I'm turning 36 in a few weeks. You think you go a lot harder when you're more used to alcohol? Maybe. Exiling Athari feels so wrong. I think I'm gonna activate Usher here rather than play out the Shield Breaker. It'll make me a little bit better against Sweepers. Anyway, but that's like one of the reasons that people that don't drink very much, even when they go hard, tend to not black out. Their bodies have more of the shit that lets them deal with poison. Than someone who's like constantly draining that. This smuggler's copter is just fucking doing it, huh? Just doing it all.
correct spawn, yeah. You liver and your tum tum and all that. I don't think they really have counters over there. But we might as well get them to tap their mana first, Tom. Huh? Good stuff. Itali Liss Itali cleaning it up. Cleaning these streets. I have one of those moments, uh my girlfriend the other day, she mentioned that, like, we were talking, for whatever reason, we were talking about, oh, she'd some she'd seen someone barefoot at the gym, and, uh, and she was talking about how weird that was. I don't go to the gym. I have no idea if that's, like, a weird thing or not. And she's like, what if you drop a weight on your foot? And I'm like, what's, what's a fucking shoe gonna do for a 50-pound weight? <laughs> like, logically, you know, like... Maybe if they were steel-toed shoes. And then she's like, no, if it was a steel-toed shoe, you would slice the toes off. And I was like, I don't think that's how steel-toed shoes work. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right to me at all. <laughs> and apparently there was this uh, myth back in the 90s that steel-toed shoes, if like you applied pressure to them, would like bend in and slice your toes off. And I had no idea this myth existed. It was, it was uh, bizarre, bizarre to find out. Third person. Be a very weird way to design shoes, yes. <laughs> I was like, I don't think they would let... I don't think they would have let 15-year-old Caleb have steel-toed boots. If <laughs> or some businesses, like, require you to wear them. It's absolutely a myth, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Right. Much more intuitive to me, Jism Tim. And I think anyone that's ever worn them before. <laughs> yeah, there should be specifically an information campaign about like weird 90s lies. Weird stuff we learned. Speaking of 90s kids, this is this is only vaguely related. Okay, maybe not that related. What was up with the Macarena? You remember when they taught every child in the USA the Macarena? Like every single fucking kid. <laughs> and it was just some popular dance. <laughs> the 90s Gangnam Style. Do you think they, they te did they teach children Gangnam Style? It was in Sweden too. Amazing. <laughs> that was my follow-up question. Is if that was like a uniquely American thing. <laughs> you were just at a 10-year-old birthday party with your kid and all of the kids knew the Macarena three months ago? Wow. Do you think their parents, who were already indoctrinated, taught that to them? Or do you think they're still teaching it in schools? Like it's just a part of the school curriculum? <laughs> to this day. Rude. Not worse than square dancing in gym? Maybe. You can confirm not teaching in schools. They taught your kids to do the floss dance in elementary school last year. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, 11 Brutality, thanks for the sub, thanks for the five months. Knowledge the Macarena is now genetic. <laughs> 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 
Let's put a lures to hand. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> I do say that intuitively makes sense a lot. <laughs> alright, alright, fair enough. Touche, salesman. Hey, Bougie, thinks the sod thinks the 16 months. What do we have to wait for activating the figure? And we have enough mana to cast Kiji, you know? So, even the Sacred Foundry wasn't the worst draw. And they will redraw Luris at that point. Hopefully, they'll be dead by then. We do not have Faithless Looting in here, no. Regeneration, I'll do the Time Warp. Oh, yeah. I guess any three-powered creature does it with the, the Reunion Haste, huh? Oh, no, the Dark Ritualing out the Luris. Cute. I can see why they would do that, right? So they don't lose to like some three power creature that I give haste to. But it was awesome that I just got to exile it without it rebuying anything. Hmm. Oh no, this can kill the touch and they can get the Luris Bank. Which can then rebuy the selfless spirit. God damn it. Well, a Fury or something off the top here would be hot. Oh, they just have Dismember. Oh my god. The fucking turn after. If they played the Selfless Spirit, they would have fucking died. They bring back Selfless Spirit, they get to attack into me. With impunity. So I guess I attack here first. The Gigi does mean that like Solitude and Fury are pretty awesome off the top. Yeah, we draw the Kiki Jiki and the Touch of the Spirit in the opposite order, huh? And I guess I copy it and serve, huh? If I don't make them block, then they just like grow their board by getting back more shit. Oh, the mana tide was necessary because otherwise I could have cracked Bitter Reunion here. I see. I was perplexed for a second, but I, now I'm with my opponent. Now I see him. And do I have to wait? If I copy here, I can pump three times and get in. But then at an end of turn, when the when the copy dies, the original would also die. I think we pass to do it on their end of turn. Yeah. No. 
No, they got another thing? Cut it out. Watch them have some discard spell for me. Six mana. Fourth for four. Trigger staff. Oh, I did not think they're dead, no. We can't copy Athari, it's a legend. And they have a flying blocker. They actually gain life off this attack. The spirit blocks the Atharium. And the Luris blocks the Rebel token. And they sack before damage. Possible Athari should stay back, but I don't think that's winning either. This loot give me, gets me another endurance counter. We really do need Solitude or um, or Fury here, though. One of those two cards would be quite good. <laughs> quite good for this Kiki Jiki. Both are still in the deck. You think Fiery Confluence wins? I don't see it. Because they just sack the Selfless Spirit and it's not lethal damage wise. So at seven. The Atari makes two tokens. So we can dash this champion. Man, I really need trample like nobody's business, huh? I think I just play the champion and pass. Because we don't have lethal on the attack. Very close to lethal on the attack. Yeah, they had like one less blocker maybe, right? Because we can dash the champion and then copy it and have two more three-powered things. But that's only getting in four damage, right? Just the two um, two twos would get in. So I think I just cast this. As like kind of miserable as that is. And just pass the turn and they get to keep drawing cards. No, we need the extra blocker Ophelof. We need the Death Greeter and play on their turn. We need them to play at their end of turn for the Kiji to copy it. Dashing would not be great. They got another thing. This does mean if I draw an answer to the selfless spirit, I won't have lethal. Oh my god. This fucking game. Let's 
think I want Pyrokinesis in here. Move over Shieldbreaker. I think I'm bringing an Usher on the play. Maybe Giver Runes makes sense. They a lot of removal. I don't want to cut any of my removal. Metamorph would have been kind of cool that game. Could have copied Luris and started getting stuff back. I mean, that's not enough. Hmm. Let's play White Walls. One of my very favorites. You ever have a miserable experience with the great draft deck? Oh, all the time. This is Vinti Tube, friend. You can clean house with uh, with stuff that's truly terrible, and you can get absolutely browned with the best stuff you've ever seen. I don't know whether to t turn to Death Greeters or Broadside. The Mox Diamond, we did see the Mox Diamond last game. That's a good reason to leave the Shatter Critter in. The Soaring Black Lotus Tank. We had two of them. One went 1 2, the other went 2 and 1. Combined 3 3 record with Soul Ring Black Lotus decks. I kind of want a bitter reunion to try and find a white source. But this is solid. Regret. Hmm. I guess Bitter Union's bidding Usher. Maybe Showdown. Yeah, it's been Showdown. I like that Showdown pitches to both Fury and Solitude, but... Man, I need some water. This is the final match of this deck, right? Yeah, we have another Stip after this one. Lingering Soul Staff. That's a lot of value right there. This is actually kind of miserable. <laughs> Am I supposed to take the trade? It all feels fucking awful. Well, maybe we can bitter into Fury and then ephemerate the Fury. All right, Dak, I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. God, I can't even play two things. I can play like the Ephemerate or the Winds or the Copter. I can't play Denny too because this fucking garden. I'm always harping about how I hate comes to play tap lands. There's like a few more than I would like um, in this cube. And we have to hit spirit tokens, or they just have lethal in the air. And any removal spell gives them lethal in the air anyway. I guess we could have given the solitude haste. I'd like to try and trade with the priest, though. I've got the triumphs. I'm Rando. I like the surveillance lands a lot. Oh, they just played Blurris. I think I'd be fucked. Instead, they played out Mother of Runes. Am 
Might still be fucked. <clears throat> GG. And thus ends the glorious blink.